training camp. Yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful weather, and uh, yeah, we had a nice, a pretty chilled out day actually, and obviously the media day, so we. Uh, we didn't really plan on doing too much training and the ride was actually cancelled so but we can start training properly tomorrow and the uh, weather's supposed to be good, it's already starting to brighten up and uh, yeah it's perfect training camp for myself because I live just down the road and uh, can come here and, and escape everybody when I, whenever I want to. Fantastic. And in terms of, I mean, how much training do you actually get done at these kind of camps? Is it all just to do with media and new sponsors and meeting the new guys, new teammates? This, this camp is, well, the last camp was all about riding. And uh, yeah, we like, obviously it was a good chance to meet everybody, and we all like, got on like a. I mean, it was great, and we were sad to leave. It was a, a really good camp. And then now, uh, this camp is more about the the other side of pro professional cycling, like the the interviews and the sponsor relations and uh, the team presentation as well, which is tomorrow. So it's uh, it's a it's a great setting to have it, and it's uh, it's great to welcome everybody to Girona here. And in terms of your own race schedule, where are you? Where are you with that in terms of planning and? I'm and like pretty laid back as far as my race <laughs> schedule goes. I mean, I know which, I'm, I'm going to start with Tour Med and and uh, and hope for But after that, like, see, my objectives are the Ardennes, so we'll see about building up to those. And uh, how I much mean, how much of an improvement do you think you can make on on last year and the year before? And the time of racing I mean, it's hard to say. It's after after the winter I had with my allergies, with my allergy operation, my nose nasal operation, like. It's impossible to put. We don't. We've got no idea how, what effect that's going to have on me. So uh, we're just going to, yeah, go to the first races and find out. And then, well, uh, like normally it should make a big difference to my performance in the springtime. But as far as the rest of the year, I'm obviously not so. Like, we got. It's not going to. It's not going to be detrimental. Put it that way. So it's exciting. The operation itself. I heard that there was a bit of a mishap. You had to have it done twice. Is that right? It, it, I had a bit of a sneezing fit after the initial operation, uh, which have resulted in a burst artery in my nose, and basically I drank my own blood all night, and, which wasn't exactly ideal, as I'd lost, lost quite a lot of blood, like to the tune of about half a litre, I think, or something. I don't know what it, what it was, but yeah, it was quite an unpleasant experience. And uh, but the staff, the hospital staff, were incredible and looked after me, and that resulted in another another operation. That, so a second general anaesthetic for three hours the next day. And, it was probably that that knocked me about more than the operation. Like D David came to Miller, he came to see me to the day after the operation, the day after I got out. He couldn't hardly tell I've had an operation. Uh, it's a bit of a scoop of uh, Yeah, he could hardly tell that I've had an operation. I, just, I looked fine, but other than the fact that I couldn't st actually stand up for four days because I just after two, within two minutes of standing up, I pretty much collapsed again. So, well, yeah. Let's try and end on a, on a positive note. The new team, obviously, <laughs> well, is, is it a new team? Because there are so many riders, the new kit. Does it feel like it, like a new start almost? It was, it, was, it was bizarre going to the first training camp. Well, my first training camp, because obviously I missed the Cayman Islands. Because I'm arriving in this environment, the same hotel as last year, and all the same staff as last year, and even driving down there. It's the eight, nine guys who live in Girona who I know from last year. But then I arrive in the hotel and every other rider is different other than the guys from Girona, pretty much. Like, it's not a totally different set of riders. So, and obviously the kit's changed, there's no more orange, and it's, it's all new. And, you know, it's not all new, but it's, it's still the Garmin name, but we've going to Girona now. New bikes as well. It's the biggest change that I've had since I turned pro. So it's, uh, well, it's exciting. I mean, ch change is always uh, interesting for us. And... Uh, yeah, it, keep, it keeps it fresh, and it's the new blood in the team. It's given us new motivation, and and now we can not not that we were lacking before, but we're going to go to the go to every race now, and uh, and with a chance of a real quality roster at every event, and with the aim of getting a result.